Okay, in this video, I'm showing how to set the uh, dynamic timing on a 4.3 Volvo Penta uh, marine engine. Um, I've already got it running, and I've got a special plug uh, in the uh, distributor, which I'll explain later. But right now, I'm just showing you how to time it. So, what you do is you connect 12 volts. I've got this jumper wire, and you connect 12 volts to the third terminal of that uh, connector back there, and that puts the engine into what's called base timing mode. When it's in base timing mode, the ignition is fixed to a certain number, or it's fixed at the value that you set it at. So I'm about to show you that now. So as you saw, the engine slowed down. And with a timing light, if I shoot the marks, I hope you can see that. down there the timing mark lines up with a notch on the uh, on the cover of the uh, uh, timing chain so this is this one is uh, right on the money it's one degree before top dead center which from my looks it looks like right on the money so this distributor is uh, dynamically timed and if I rev the engine that that timing won't change I'm gonna set the timing light down we're actually going to set the phone down and check this out. I'll be right back. Okay, as I said, when I read the engine, when it's in, bait, when it's in uh, timing, uh, base timing mode, when I read the engine, the timing did not change. It's currently set on the right uh, one degree before top dead center. If I take the jumper off the battery, you'll hear the motor speed up. Now when I rev the engine, it's in dynamic timing now. When I rev the engine, the timing advances like it's supposed to based on RPM. There's no vacuum advance on these type engines. It's all based on RPM, which I'll explain later. So for this part of the video, this engine's now timed what's called dynamically timed and I'm gonna do a second part of this video to explain how this works. 